Hi, I'm Millicent Walker. Here's your Channels TV Evening News Recap for September the 14th, 2021. President Mohamed Buhari has written to the National Assembly seeking approval to borrow the sum of over $4 billion and 710 million euros. The President is also seeking the nation's legislature's approval for grant components of $125 million in the 2018-2020 External Rolling Borrowing Plan. This is contained in a letter addressed to both chambers of the National Assembly and read on the floor at the resumption of plenary by the presiding officers. Ahead of the 2023 general elections, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Fenwick Bajabia Miller, has said that the national leader of the All Progressives Congress, APC, Bola Tinubu, is qualified to run for presidency. He was speaking during an exclusive interview with Channels Television. Meanwhile, 114 out of 240 inmates who escaped from the Kaba Medium Security Custodial Center in Kogi State have been recaptured. Heavily armed gunmen stormed the facility late on Sunday, freeing scores of inmates. It is unclear who the gunmen were, but criminal gangs have terrorized central and northwest Nigeria for years. On the international scene, President Vladimir Putin will self-isolate after coronavirus cases were detected in his inner circle. As Russia struggles with stubbornly high COVID-19 infection rates, the government spokesman Dmitry Peskov told reporters that President Putin was absolutely healthy. And in sports, Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. has joined up with the Manchester United Academy while his father has returned to the club he left 12 years ago. It comes as the Portugal international put on a performance on his second debut for the Red Devils against Newcastle. This is according to the Mirror in the United Kingdom. And that's the Evening News Recap. Don't forget to join us later for the news update. I'm Melissa Walker. Thank you for watching.